Hello, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about insulin resistance and vitamin deficiencies. Okay, this is actually quite fascinating. It's very interesting because really, if you look at it, what insulin is, it's a key that unlocks the door to open the cell to allow the cell not just to have fuel, not just to regulate blood sugars, but to absorb amino acids. If you take a diabetic, um, they're they're, they can't absorb amino acids like a person without with normal blood sugars. So they're going to have uh, atrophy of the muscle, weakness in the muscle, loss of collagen throughout the entire body, and even at the cellular level. So this key is very, very important in a lot of nutrients, essential nutrients, okay? Essential amino acids. Also potassium, you probably already know that uh, from some of the other videos, and magnesium. This key allows the transportation of potassium and magnesium into the cell. Okay, it's involved in potassium going in and out of the cell. That's nerve conduction, that's muscle contraction and relaxation. It's a lot of different things. Um, phosphates to go in and out of the cell, that's another mineral. Okay, so that's very interesting. But there are a lot of other vitamins that are also associated with insulin resistance. So when you have insulin resistance, okay, which is a condition where the body the key doesn't work anymore, you're also going to have problems with vitamin A deficiencies, vitamin B deficiencies, vitamin C deficiencies, vitamin D, vitamin E and K deficiencies. Because, and I'm going to put some links down below, when you take these vitamins in their natural form, you can improve insulin resistance, okay? So vitamin A, taking vitamin A will improve insulin resistance. It actually fixes this, it improves the key to work better in the body. Uh, vitamin D, B, let's take vitamin B uh, deficiencies. If you take a diabetic um, and you look at one of the first symptoms they get, it's peripheral neuropathies. That's pain and burning on the hands or the feet. It could be numbness, but it's mainly like a burning pain. That is a vitamin B deficiency because B vitamins are necessary for the uh, formation of myelin around the nerves. One way to correct uh, uh, that condition would be to take some B vitamins, but you want to get them in the uh, fat-soluble form because normally B vitamins are water-soluble, so you want to get them in a fat-soluble form. I'll put a link down below if you need to get that. But the point is that having too much insulin can create a B vitamin deficiency and create all sorts of problems with your metabolism. Now, I just created several videos on vitamin C deficiencies with too much insulin as well. Vascular um, problems with uh, uh, broken, damaged uh, arteries, which then cause clotting and uh, spider veins and bleeding gums and a whole bunch of other issues. Fatigue, vitamin D deficiencies too. By taking vitamin D, cod liver oil, um, or sun, you can improve insulin resistance. Vitamin E deficiencies, that's the heart, that's the skin, that's the hormones. Vitamin K, bruising. Calcium deficiencies are involved as well with insulin. Uh, omega-3 fatty acids, you can take omega-3 fatty acids, flax oil, fish oil, and improve insulin resistance, okay? Chromium also is a great mineral to improve insulin resistance. So we got two situations, okay? We have, you can fix insulin resistance by cutting out the sugar, doing intermittent fasting, doing a ketogenic diet, which will automatically improve the absorption of these nutrients. And at the same time, you can take the nutrients from food, concentrates, or just actual food in the right amounts, and improve insulin resistance. So they both work hand in hand. You cannot fix diabetes or prediabetes, which is insulin resistance, without consuming nutrient-dense foods. And I'm talking large salads, high-quality protein, healthy fats. Okay? Thanks for watching. Put your comments below. Hi, guys. Hey, listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.